Hello, my peeps. This Algebra Nation video will cover the rest of workbook page 70. This find the equation of a line through these two points in slope intercept form. We have two points. What do we have to find first? Slope. So let's once again find slope. We have the slope equation right here. If you need to, label your point x1, y1, x2, y2. And slope will equal y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Negative 1 minus 5 fourth will give you negative 6. 0 minus the negative 2 is really 0 plus 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 will give you negative 3 for the slope. But in this case, they want it in y equals mx plus b, which is slope-intercept form. So you need the slope and the y-intercept, which if you notice, we have the y-intercept right here. Remember, a y-intercept is when x is 0, and there it is. x is 0, y is negative 1, that is your b, and we have our slope m, and we can write y equals m x plus b plus the negative one would just be minus one. And there's your only answer in this case, because they want it in slope-intercept form. And then lastly, we have... We have a brain break. Whatever you do, don't do this on the EOC. Epic fail. I don't think they got a 399. Again, two points. What are we going to find? So, one more time. M equals. Label them. If you need to. Y2. Minus. Y1. Divide it by. Minus 1 is 4. 1 minus negative 3 is 1 plus 3, which is 4. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Now, standard form, you actually have to start in a different form, which is on your reference sheet. You can take either point slope form or slope intercept form, but you have to start in another form first. Which means, in this case, I'm going to choose my favorite is actually, you have figured it out, point slope form. You can just plug in and have the line. Y minus, doesn't matter which point, I'll choose 1 comma 5. Y minus my Y coordinate equals M, X minus my X coordinate. So now, if you notice, we have to go ahead and get it in standard form. Standard form is AX plus BY equals C. So these are X and Y are all going to be on one side. Y minus 5. Distribute 1 times x, well, 1 times anything is just itself, so the x minus 1. From here, move your variables to one side, your numbers to the other. I'm going to subtract the x to the left, and at the same time, add the 5 to the right. So I'll get negative x plus y, negative 1 plus 5 equals 4. And if you don't see, this is an answer choice. Like right now we have standard form. If you don't see this as the answer choice, they might have x as a positive number. Which means if you have a negative, you multiply everything by a negative 1, which means you would change the signs of everything. x minus y equals negative 4. Regardless, make sure you realize that your goal is to get your equation to match up to whichever form they have when you're going to, oh, I don't know, let's say you...